It's a good thing because the world's going to be a better place because of this man. He comes from very humble beginnings. He's modest and he brings value and hard work to everything he does. He grew up in a family where they shared one bedroom, a one bedroom apartment in the Gambia with his family. He's a self-made, accomplished entrepreneur and he's generated several million pounds in income. He's one of the best business coaches on the planet. In less than six months, he was able to create that kind of money, several million pounds. Isn't that amazing? He's now a world-class speaker. He's a business trainer and coach, and he's touched the lives of over 200,000 people. He's a very engaging speaker, and you're going to experience him very shortly. And you're not going to be the same two hours from now. Oh, some of you just went, two hours. <laughs> oh, no. Trust me, it's going to be the best two hours of your life. He's one of the best peak performance coaches, international speaker. Everybody, please stand up and welcome Paul something else that you've been doing with your time rather than being here right now? Yes or yes? yes? Absolutely. So you're here. So let's make the best out of it. Another thing is, let's have some fun. Would that be okay with you? Yes. Yeah? A very dear friend of mine, name of Jason Schlesinger, um, he said fun. There's an acronym for fun. And fun means this. What's the word, by the way? Fun. Fun. Thank you. So the fun means this. Fully utilize the now. What's it please? Fully one, more, one more time with energy. Fully That's what fun means. So it means you be present. Is it possible you can be in this room right now in your mind somewhere else? Yes or yes? Yes. yes? So I'm going to ask you to put everything right here right now. Now, I am no guru by the way. I'm just the messenger. You are the gurus of your life. 
And somewhere in the line, you forgot that. You're looking for something, you're looking for some wisdom, you're looking for some gem or something to say, oh my God, now I matter. But I'm here to tell you this, I'm just a messenger. So if you're ready and you're ready to step up, you're ready to own the space, own your power, I'm going to promise you this, in 90 minutes something's going to, big transformation is going to happen, but it's going to take every single one of you. Are you ready? Yes! yes. Turn around to someone and say, we'll see. <laughs> So, is it okay, as we're going to be spending some time together, that I share a little bit about me? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So, um, you heard a lot, a lot of things that I've achieved, but that's not really me. Um, it's just some of the things that I've just achieved by just deciding to make a big difference in my life. So, I'm originally from a small country called the Gambia. Anyone heard of the Gambia? Yeah. Oh, really? Anyone been to the Gambia? Come on, peeps, man. <laughs> I know, it's, I know why. It's just because we're the smallest country in Africa, actually the smallest country in the world. There's only 1.5 million of us. So if you see a Gambian, please cherish them. <laughs> um, but you know, I sh it's, it's funny, and some of you can relate to this because um, you, you're, you're in the continent called Africa, and it's one of the most beautiful continents in the world. Do you know we're, one of the, we're the richest continent in the world? Do you know that? Yes. Isn't it interesting? We're the richest continent in the world, and, and there exists a lot of poverty, but you know, it's not poverty financially, it's poverty where? In the mind. And my friends, it's time that we step up. If any message I have for you really right now is try to, it's, it's time for you to live the bigger you. That's why you're here. You didn't come here to get some more information. I can't teach you anything that you don't know already. South Africa for crying out loud. You're the leaders in Africa. Your country, it's beautiful. You have everything that you want here. But you still have excuses. You're still searching. You're still fearful. you still got a bit of doubt. Interesting, huh? But yeah, I was a Gambia. Um, I was born in the UK though, originally. At the age of six, my dad decided to move back to, to Gambia. He used to be a table tennis champion, and he went off to China to play in the World Cha um, Table Tennis Championship. And through there, whilst he was there, he found a way of going to the UK illegally. And that's how I was happened to born in the UK in the early 70s. Um, but what was interesting is it was, life was very tough for my dad, so he decided to go back home. And I never forget this. We went back and we lived in a household of about 30 other family members. Um, I shared a bedroom with my parents for nine years. Um, I remember my parents' bed was here, and I was here, lying on the floor, dreaming that one day I'm going to make a difference. Success is not going to be a maybe, it's not going to be a should, it's going to be an absolute must. You want to be successful? Decide. But most of us here don't decide because we don't have a big enough reason why. I'm not the how guy, I'm the why guy. You see, my dear friend says this also, Peter Sage, the how is none of your business. The how is none of your business, but the why is critical. And most of the reason why you're searching... <laughs> I can't believe you showed that. He's quite yummy, by the way. I've tasted him, I can tell. Give a big hand for my dear friend, Peter Sage. Um, you know, it's funny, you know, I've known Peter for nearly 15 years right now and we've been doing this all over the world together, so it was just an honor and privilege serving with him here. Um, but one of the keys to success, and I said this before, is hanging around successful people and that guy is a giant. So for those of you who get to work with him, you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. But going back to what I was sharing with you guys is you've got to make a decision. You've got to make a decision. And my question to you is like, what is your why? Why the hell did you show up over these two days? Why? And is it possible that the reason why you think you're here is not the reason why you're here? Some of you are here because you want to make more money. And you wonder why you don't have any money. You don't wonder why you're broke. Why are you here? Why did you show up? You see, my why was I wanted to become an example for where I'm from. 
the poorest country in Africa, poorest country in the world, where we don't have a lot. Believe me, if you want to see poverty, I'll show you Gambia. You'll see people who don't know when they're going to get their next meal, who don't drink clean um, drinking water, don't have right toilets. It's funny, um, last couple of, what, two months ago, I took my clients, nearly 80 clients, to Gambia. And we did this program called Ignite Your Purpose, and I'll talk about that later. And it was interesting. Everybody who came, they were just quite shocked and had a perspective. They had a different perspective because they realized that they were bitching and complaining and they had a lot. And there's people over there who don't have anything but a smile. And I'm looking at some of you, and I've been watching you the last two days. Some of you haven't smiled in a very long time. <laughs> Because you've got nothing to smile about, you think. You think you've got problems. <coughs> well, let me ask you a question. Isn't life a big fat problem? Isn't life a problem? Yeah. Some people say yes, some people don't know. Think about it. Yeah. Do you have problems, by the way? Yeah. So you have problems. What happens when you have a problem? What do you do with it? Solve, Solve it. Then you have another what? Problem. Then you do what? Solve it. Solve it. Why are you in business? Why are businesses created? Businesses are created to solve a problem. If you solve a client's problem, you make money. Not only that, if you add value, and Peter talked about it, if you add value, you'll make even a lot more money. Because most of you here, I can promise you this, you think in price rather than value. You have a number. You have a number that you're worth. What's your number? And what would it take for you to have a bigger number? I tell you what it's going to take is to have a big enough reason why. Most of you have been speaking the me, me, me language. I need to pay my bills. I need to pay my mortgage. I need to pay this. I need to pay that. That's too small, my friend. What did the great Nelson Mandela say? Do big things. It's playing small doesn't serve the world. You've got to do big. You're big. The question is, are you ready to be even bigger? I can't hear you. Yes. The question is, are you ready to be even bigger? Yes. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start off by saying this. Most people think the way to get to success is to get on the elevator. And I don't believe there's an elevator to success. You've got to take the stairs, my dear. You've got to take the stairs. There's no elevator. Some of you came here looking for the elevator. Tell me what it is that I can do and get rich in the next five, ten minutes. Or in the next um, one week. It doesn't exist, my friends. You've got to take the course. You've got to get ready to commit, to decide, and do a bit of hard work. I've never seen anyone who hasn't worked hard to get success. But the question is, what are you working hard on? How many of you here are busy? Raise your hand. Make sure it's okay. Great. We're all busy, right? But some of you are busy on the wrong things. Some of you are busier than like the Richard Bransons, the Bill Gates. You're busier than them because you believe you have a big problem, but it's a small problem that you've made so big, and you're so freaking busy, and you're busy on the wrong things, and you're broke as hell. Is it okay that I speak the truth here? Yes. Is it okay? Because I don't think you came here for someone to massage your egos. <laughs> well, why not? I'll do that too also, just for you. <laughs> but when I say speak the truth, because people, most people are not honest where they're at. And I'm just going to say, hey, you took two days to be here. What is going to be different when you leave here in the next 90 minutes? Not in the next six months, not in the next three months, in the next 90 minutes. What are you going to decide? Because you see what? You can come here, and most of you, I spoke to you, you're looking for some inspiration. My friends, inspiration will last two weeks. It's got to get married to action. And it's action is immediate action, small or big. The bigger, the better. The bigger, the better. Commit to something bigger than you, and you'll figure out a way if you have a big enough reason why. So, I'm curious. What is your why? What is your why? Somebody, please raise your hand. Somebody. Yes, my dear. 
Can you get a mic from me quickly, please? Where's my mic runners? Give them a big hand. Give them a mic runners a big hand. First of all, what's your name? My name is Valdila Rojan. Fa Valdila. 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 Love your name, girl. Say, everyone say, hi, Valdila. Hi, Valdila. And Valdila, what's your why? Why are you here? I want to stay as humble as possible. However, I want to drive the likes of a Rolls Royce. I want to have one for every day of the week. I want a 10 million dollar a rand house. I want that. I want my family's life to increase. But at the end of the day, I want to change the family structure in the so-called colored Cape Town community. There is no structure. There is no family structure. It's fatherless. So, great family, great family. Great job, great job. So, what will have to, who would you need to be in order to change that? Because something tells me you've been playing small. I have because I've worked. You worked? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to work. Uh, yeah, but I work for a boss. You work for a boss? Yeah. Did you like the boss? Um, the boss was good, the manager wasn't. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's a no, by the way. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Most people wake up in the morning, they go work on the job that they do not like, they go work for the boss that they do not like, they go work on somebody else's plan, not their plan. Has this two days been about your plan? Yes. You better believe it. You better believe it. If you don't have a plan, someone else will have a plan for you. So what's your plan? Or what's the plan you're going to own? Um, I'm going to take big action. You're going to take Massive big... action. I'm going to align myself with the right people. And I'm just going to do it. Going to do it. I'm just going to do Give it. Give her a big hand! Great job. Let's go over here. Great job. What's your name? Good evening. My name is Anna. Everyone say hi, Anna. Hi. All right. And my why, my purpose, is to live a purposeful life and to help others live a purposeful life. I believe that everyone's going to have challenges, but you can take the suffering out of it. And that's when I, well, I help myself do that every day, and that's when I help, want to help other people do too. Okay. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. Very nice. So, what's missing for you to live that life? To myself, I have a, feel like I, I have a purpose in, in the life, in this life, at least. And if you knew what your purpose was, what would you say? I know you don't know right, right now, but if you knew, yeah. what would you say? Listen. To kind of just be. <laughs>